What's the thing you wish the opposite gender would stop doing? Dot. Thinking that they can get out of parenting and cleaning because they don't know what to do. Stop saying I'm babysitting my kids. I'm their father. I'm parenting them. You don't say that about their mom. Dot. Finding me unattractive. That's not just the other gender. Not asking guys out. Women can ask men on dates too. Dot. My friends. Dropping hints. With my anxiety issues, I will never pick up on them because my brain does not even consider a woman is hitting on me. To be honest, this goes for both genders. But assuming that because I'm single, that means I'm looking for someone or can't find someone to be with. Some of us just like to be single and don't mind it. Not much to it beyond that. Assuming I'm a child predator while in at the splash pad when I'm with my son. Both genders stop playing hard to get. It's not cute. It's not attractive. For me, it's a surefire way for me to start being the hard to get one. Cause I'm just gonna assume you have no interest and I'll have lost interest you very quickly. It's emotional and mental torture when you do this. Stop. Just stop. We're just looking to make a connection. There's no need for all the red tape and maze filled with mouse traps in between. Zero communication. I'm sick of having to guess what you're thinking because you think it's obvious. Grow up and say what you want slash feel. Thank you. Flirting with me to get things. I'm an openly gay man. The girls at work still flirt with me, so I'll help them with ex mama. Just ask. But touching me and asking me for a huge favor is cringy AF. Stop yelling at me or trying to talk to me while I'm running. Based on all these comments, I'd say to stop assuming only one gender is capable of a certain type of s behavior. Catcalling. The only person I catcall is my wife. Hey baby, where ya been all my life? Hits different when you shout it to your wife of 20 plus years. I'm a married, 48 year old, male nurse and father of five. Please don't stroke me. Grab my muscles, bum, etc., and make lewd. Oh, I like a man in a uniform, or you can stick your thermometer anywhere you like. Big boy comments. Just let me do my effing job. Imagine if a man did it to a female nurse. Expecting gay men like me to be their pets. Dot. I wish people would stop being surprised that my mother was the extremely abusive one and my father was the better parent. Too many times I get the surprised slash questionable look when say my mother was abusive and lost custody. Had someone who would not believe a mother would harm their children and that I'm brainwashed by my dad. Right and my dad gave me those scars and the judge just decided to let him have us. Mothers can be evil too. Say they'll turn me straight. Maybe you have undiagnosed scoliosis they're offering to help with. Every once in a while when I have my 1.5 year old daughter out and about New York myself I'll get ladies coming up to me to comment on how cute my daughter is and then saying, is daddy babysitting today, or something like, and where is mommy while daddy watches you. Never had a guy ask. It's only happened about 12 times but that's insulting. I'm not babysitting, I'm doing my job as a parent. It's been mostly older generation women but two were millenniacs like me. Girls ask me if I'm gay when I say I don't want to have sex right now. Like come on sometimes I just want to chat why does not being horny all the time automatically mean I'm gay? Dot. Sending unsolicited d-pics. Not only as a male, but as a male nurse, stop touching me all the time. Women are always touching my arm, touching my back, etc. Boundaries, JFC. I've had to tell a few women to stop and they roll their eyes at me because I'm a guy. F off. Am I allowed to touch you whenever I want? Exactly. Not asking guys out, women can ask men on dates too. Dot. Stop having weird reactions when I, a male, am on solo baby duty. Even my wife has brought up the weird reactions she gets from other women when she mentions I've got the baby solo dolo. I was a single dad for a good few years until I met my, now, wife. I always brought my daughter into school or daycare bathed and hair done in a good ponytail or braids, etc. One of her daycare workers asked me once why her mom never picks her up. I told them her mother is a drug addict who lives in another state. I'm the only family my daughter has here. Oh, who does her hair in the mornings? Uh, I do, dot. 
making blanket statements about the opposite gender. It's infuriating to both sides I feel, and we're not all the same. Assuming I have ulterior motives for being friendly, I don't want to sleep with you and I am not creeping on you. My natural mode is friendly and ready to help total strangers. It's not the most common thing, but it shouldn't be such a wild concept. If I hold the door for you, or offer to help you with something, don't assume I am sexist or that I think you are incapable. I do it for guys too. I was just raised to be polite. Laugh at my pee pee. Why would anyone do that though? My wife did that once because she before then, she hadn't seen a completely non-erect pee pee before and she thought it looked absolutely ridiculous. I mean, she's not wrong. Assuming that everything we do is to attract them. Brah I just wanna get highlights him out, I'd actually feel uncomfortable if a bunch of guys mobbed me for dates because of them. Stop interacting with my effing daughters in the store, or any other public place, like you're their damn grandpa. You are a stranger. No, you cannot have their names. No you cannot tickle them. It literally never happens when my husband is there. Only when we're three ladies rolling solo. Yes, it's way more invasive than a polite comment that I have beautiful children slash that we're a beautiful family. That's fine. You are not entitled to force your way into a conversation with a woman alone with her kids that you don't know. It's creepy. It's scary. Don't do it. Yes, it's happened more than once. I wish that people of the opposite gender would stop assuming that kindness is a come on. A skirt is not an invitation. Let me wear my skirts in peace please. Damn right. Scottish men should t be harassed. I'm with you, brother. Finding me unattractive. That's not just the other gender. Stop waiting for the guy to start the conversation. You matched me. You talk for once, dot. Don't comment on bulges in my pants slash shorts it's me phone or wallet. I'm not happy to see you, and if it is a boner I probably got excited I can get a California burrito or I have time to take a long shower. Next time someone asks if you're happy to see them just say absolutely not in a flat tone. I feel like that would be hilarious. I'm sorry this happens to you though, friend, not cool. I wish they'd stop taking politeness and courtesy as a come on. So many times I've been making small talk and asked how their day was and immediately got hit with they have a boyfriend cool, how's his day going also, dot. Assuming I'm lying when I mention being a domestic abuse victim honorable mention, stop asking what I did to make her that mad. Ask a woman that and see how people react. I think this could work for both sides of the table. Have a f in conversation instead of making assumptions about everything, or your expectations of what you think the other side is thinking. Life isn't a dramatic movie and we can communicate. Most recently just because I, male, don't ask you for snus nu on the first date doesn't mean I'm not into you. Especially if I ask you for a second date. Straight up. And if you're into it or you want something, just say you want something. We can talk about it. My mother does this one and it's infuriating. That's just how us women are. No, it's how you are. Stop using the I'm a woman that's how women are because you can't communicate like a f-ing adult. Especially don't use it to justify another woman doing the same f-ing thing. Stop interacting with my f-ing daughters in the store or any other public place like you're their damn grandpa. You are a stranger. No, you cannot have their names. No, you cannot tickle them. It literally never happens when my husband is there. Only when we're three ladies rolling solo. Yes, it's way more invasive than a polite comment that I have beautiful children slash that we're a beautiful family. That's fine. You are not entitled to force your way into a conversation with a woman alone with her kids that you don't know. It's creepy. It's scary. Don't do it. Yes, it's happened more than once.